Okay, I'm going to take you guys along for the first fire up of the of the uh, homemade cylinder head. Got the tractor battery in here. It's on the battery charger, so I can uh, make sure it's got enough hamperage. Uh, this is how I assembled it. Uh, if this all works, if this all works, I'm going to still take it apart. I'm going to grind the corners down and the edges because they're still pretty sharp. I may cut some cooling fins in here, but. Uh, I'm not going crazy until I'm sure this is all going to work and I am definitely going to drill out that's the intake hole uh, drill it out like I had it before so my little velocity stack will stick in there and this V stack uh, if you guys want to know what this is this is a um, amplification cone off a smoke detector an old school smoke detector these, these used to sit up on those little button speakers those little brass speakers and uh, this would amplify the sound down and uh, I changed my smoke detectors out in a building, like 200 of them or something. And uh, I saved a bunch of these, threw a bunch away, but I just thought they were kind of cool. And I saved them for that purpose of they would make little cool little V-stacks. But anyway, that way it allows me to put an air filter in there. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to hold off on that for just a sec. I'm not cracking any champagne. There's the old cylinder head. I'll smash that with a hammer if need be. I've got the double gauges set up again. Uh, just because I, I dug this up. It's an old Binks uh, for Binks uh, sprayer, pot sprayer. It goes to 100 PSI, but I've got it hooked up, whatever. I got it hooked up to 150 feet, 350 foot lengths of this 3 8 hose, which uh, stretches, so I don't know how much volume of air. And at the end of it is a pss, pss. Okay, so let's fire this up. I have Teflon tape on everything, so hopefully we don't have any leaks. And um, so far, it looks like it went on really well. I don't know. Let's see. I'll put you on the stand. Okay. I think I have you all in the frame. It's hard with this overhead light. It glares on these lenses. That's zero. Obviously, you can see this in case it blows up. I'm going to uh, hook up the power and I'm going to go stand outside because uh, I don't want to get blasted by any flying objects. Okay, let me get behind the camera. I'm so scared. Let's give it a shot. And go. Sounds good. The building pressure, 30, 40, and kick it on, 40, 50, 60, oh, 70. It should stop around 105, I think is where I had it set. And it should be stopping any minute. What? And the check valve works. The check valve's holding. I'll be a monkey's uncle. No, really, I think I am a monkey's uncle. Holy crap. That old block of aluminum that I've had laying around for a long time is now going to serve itself as a cylinder head. It's holding pressure. Son of a bitch. Yup. Okay, let's see where the cut in. So it shuts off at, let's see, that's 110, about 105. Oh, jeez. A little jumpy. Okay, ready? We still filming? Okay, let's see when it turns on. I should be honking the horns, except it's uh, like 11 o'clock right now. I don't want to do that to my neighbors, even though they're mostly douchebags. Oh, yay! It kicks on about 82. Watch it kick on again. Let's do. I'm gonna do this about oh, 50 times. Seriously. 
Oh, that is too cool. That is too cool for school, fellas and ladies. Hmm. Let me zoom you out here. Oh, the old blockhead works. Oh, that's awesome. That's oh, so awesome. I'm so excited. Do it one more time. Ready? Ready? And go. <laughs> the motor's cool. Head's getting a little warm. But not intolerably warm. 